Hey YouTubers, this is John from Self Sufficient UK. This is part two of putting my shelves together, which was in part one. And now it's the workbench. I've started a little bit of it now already before I came on camera. Um, I'm having a little bit more difficulty than the, the shelves. It's just the way the, uh, these go into the frame. Uh, they're not uh, angled correctly. So sometimes I'm having to um, angle them the right way to put them in. Um, but I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible um, because I haven't edited the, the shelves yet. I'm going to be doing both today. Um, but I run up a lot of time. Um, so uh, the first one's going to be fast forwarded and obviously this one as well. So um, I'll catch you inside. See you there. That looks a bit better. <laughs> so back to work. Um, this one I'm on while I'm doing, getting things ready. Um, I've had a few people ask me because I have a, a fishing background and I've never tried fishing before. Um, so I am going to be doing a, a few videos on some uh, some fishing going back to extreme basics um, doing some stuff um, teaching how to tie hooks and things like that. back to literally basics and I'm also going to take you on some lakes and things like that to teach you how to do survival fishing teach you how to make your own floats um, ledgers and things like this so that you can um, in a survival situation you can do it on your own um, I'll teach you how to preserve meat as well um, so there's a few things that I've got uh, um, planned, quite a lot actually. Um, I'm going to get this shed sort of sorted first before um, everything else is sort of um, going to happen. So I'm going to get back to this um, on a cold morning. Um, not very wise of me wearing shorts, um, but I just can't bother to get changed now. <laughs> Uh, so I'll get back to this See you in a bit
Right guys, this is the finished article. As you can see, it's completely done now. It looks plain as anything, um, but I've got to add stuff to it, so um, that will be done over the few weeks. Like I said before, I won't be buying, I probably won't buy from these again, um, because these part of the wood here wasn't cut properly. I've had to bend this bit out and that bit out over there to make it flush. Uh, to, or to get it in I should say and I have actually damaged this bit of wood here so I definitely won't be buying from them again um, so yeah so yeah um, this will be the sort of the last sort of videos that you'll see of me doing this type of thing um, because they're not that much entertaining to be honest um, seeing me do builds like this everybody's done it before it's just to show you um, what I'm getting up to and what am I doing in the in my my shed or man cave, what you want to call it? I'm calling it the man cave. Once this is complete, uh, the shed buyers I got to build. I'm putting a some a solar panel on top of the roof with some lights, some more shelving and stuff like that. I better start doing stuff outside, so you'll see some videos as well of that, uh, including me starting to do some gardening as well. If there's other videos you want to see, I have got tons of ideas that I want to do video wise um, please let me know and I can add to it as well uh, I can show you what um, we're getting up to what, I, what I'm getting up to um, so this is for me for now um, I will next time I've what I've learned from these two videos actually before I go is that in the shed itself I'm gonna need some camera angles um, because I know some of the camera angles weren't that great so I'm gonna put some uh, some pieces of wood up at some places to make get some good camera angles for you as well so anyway i'm waffling on so have a have a good week um hope everybody is okay have a good week um, until i see you again this is john out